Hello Skyhawk Nation and welcome to Stonehill College Sports Network's premier show, Skyhawk Update. We have basketball and hockey highlights as per the usual for the winter season, as well as updates on indoor track and field and women's equestrian, both of which made headlines last week. Folks, don't go anywhere. This is Skyhawk Update. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gents. I'm Craig Riotto, and I'll be taking you through last week's action in Stonehill Athletics. Going pr chronologically, we pick it up on a high note in men's ice hockey. The Skyhawks, coming off a huge 3-2 road victory at Franklin Pierce, look to continue their Northeast 10 success with a conference clash against Assumption last Tuesday night. Stonehill in their white uniforms looking to defend home ice. We pick it up early in the first. Skyhawks ahead. 1-0 at this point. That's senior captain Dana Borges splitting the defense, but denied by Bowden. A couple of minutes later, Fallon throws it on net. D'Elia goes for the wraparound, and Rooney's right there to clean it up. Back-to-back -back goals for the junior winger. It's 2-0 Stonehill early on. Now this off an assumption turnover. Robbie Dorgan. Show me something nice on ice. Toe drag right by the defense. Can't quite finish on the shot, though. Otherwise, we might have seen that play on ESPN. But Assumption could not keep Stonehill out of that much longer. That's Andrew Miller off the pass from the junior Rooney. Stonehill up 3-0. Rooney having a big first period. And there was just too many plays like this for Assumption. Here they get behind the defense, but Mateo cannot finish. Rings one off the post. Stonehill rolls at home 6-2. But they were not so fortunate in their next game against Southern New Hampshire. They travel to Manchester and drop one 5-3, bringing their conference record to 4-2. Ryan Rooney with two more goals. He is on fire lately, 12 on the season. But despite that, the Skyhawks only 1-for-8 on the power play. Really shot themselves on the foot in that statistic, and they drop one on the road. The women's basketball team, to say the least, has hit their stride as of late. As a matter of fact, they've been striding to victory game after game since the month of November. Going into last week, the Skyhawks had a single blemish on their resume, a road loss to number two nationally ranked Bentley University. So at 14-1 and, and having won six straight, the women will have to get used to playing with huge targets on their backs. And perhaps the pressure did get to the girls this time. They dropped one on the road at AIC last Wednesday. Dropping their conference record at 10 and 2. ML Dixon with 19 points, 10 rebounds. Nice double-double for the junior. Tori Faeda also with a double-double, 12 points, 10 rebounds. AIC just too much defensively as well. Stonehill held to their lowest field goal percentages in the month of January. But all is not lost. Live to die another day. Saturday's contest. Skyhawks play host to Southern Connecticut State University, and this is early on. Off the inbound, Paige Marshall finds the range from the assist from ML Dixon. Now, same play, right? Different shooter, though. Jamie Panton says, you know what, Paige, I like the way that looked. I want some of that, too. And it's a three-pointer for Stonehill. Now, any coach will tell you good fundamentals will win ball games. Look at four perfect box outs from the Skyhawks. And this was good. Ashley Gendron steals behind the back to Dixon. Dixon brings up the floor, finds Pelletier, who scores three. Taylor made Stonehill basketball in transition. But SCSU brought their lunch pails, close ball games. What are you going to do about this? Jackie Baitha, turnaround in the lane. She went for 22 points, 15 rebounds. Close ball game, but Stonehill had too many plays like this. Dixon to Faeda, strong in the post. Then Faeda again. Too much for the Owls to handle. Stonehill wins a close one at home, 70-6. Stonehill men's basketball is having a tough time navigating the Northeast 10 this season. The Skyhawks had eight losses entering last week, all of them coming in conference play. They've also had their fair share of struggles on the road going 0-6 in 2012-2013. So when they made the trip to Springfield for a clash against American International College last Wednesday, they certainly weren't worried about being overconfident. But they're able to put all that behind them. The Skyhawks go on the road and take one, 56-55 at AIC. Not the prettiest win for the Stonehill. They turn the ball over 20 times and only score 5 points in the last 7 minutes and 46 seconds of the game. But a win is a win. They'll take it. 
downing the Yellow Jackets by one. Now to Saturday's contest, looking to make it two in a row at the expense of Southern Connecticut State University. When I say they had it going early, I mean they had it going. Markle for three, and that would lead to something incredible. Brian Hamer, step back, connects from downtown. Now we're going to go Hamer from Fazzini. He reigns himself another. And sooner or later you're going to say they have to miss, right? Wrong. Freshman Carter Smith getting involved in the town, downtown bonanza. And then how about freshman Adam Bramante? Two in a row for Bramante. Now if you remember who started it all, it was this guy, Sam Markle. Make it seven made three-pointers in a row to open the game for the Skyhawks. They are on fire. And even doing the small things right. Hamer, backdoor cut to Carter Smith. Great finish. Smith went for 14 points. But stopping the Owls was another matter. That's the conference's number three leading scorer, Trayvon Hamlet. Nice step back, rising over Fazzini. Stono did all it did to scrape a win at home. They played brilliantly at times, but when it was all said and done, SCSU takes the cake 77-74. Stonehill's highly touted equestrian team opened its spring season at the Intercollegiate Horse Shows Association's Winter Tournament of Champions last weekend. The Skyhawks trekked all the way to Ware's Cave, Virginia, where they squared off against 21 of the top equestrian programs from the IHSA on the East Coast. Notable finishes for the Skyhawks were posted by senior Emily Dolan, who came in fifth place in the individual open medal class. Freshman Emma Zamorowski, who placed sixth in the walk trot equitation, and sophomore Cassandra Otis, who finished sixth in novice equitation over fences. Stonehill's next tournament is scheduled for February 23rd when it participates in the Boston College Show in Medway, Massachusetts. Stonehill's indoor track and field squads made headlines last Saturday at the Joe Donahue Games in Boston, Massachusetts. On the women's side, it was the 4x400-meter relay team who snagged a second-place finish on their way to breaking their own school record they set just one week ago. Junior Megan Olin also broke her own school record that she set last week in the pole vault as she cleared 10 feet flat for a fourth-place finish. On the men's side, it was Corey Thomas capturing the spotlight once again as he stole victories in both the high jump and the 60-meter hurdles on his way to breaking his own school records. Seven foot two and a quarter inches is the new jump to beat in Division Two, as well as 8.04 seconds in the hurdles. Stonehill also had three runners in Sean Hanlon, Nick Kirkpatrick, and Tim Johnson, who captured top 10 finishes in the 1,000 meter run, helping the Skyhawks to a fifth place team finish amongst several Division One teams. Well, that wraps it up for this week's episode of Skyhawk Update. Students, you can catch us all week on Channel Nine for those off campus. You can always catch us on YouTube by searching Skyhawk Update. Please remember to follow us on Twitter, at Skyhawk Update, and be sure to come out and support our winter sports teams. Folks, have a great night. Craig Riotto signing off.